Well, hello, here we are again. Welcome back to the channel with your host and driver, DDD Jaden. And today we got the TV recap. Yes, we're going to do the TV recap of this morning, mornings, morning, mornings, endurance race. And this time, it was held on Grand Valley Highway number uno, number one. And the chosen car, or the car you could choose, was in Group 2. So Group 2 cars on Grand Valley Highway. One, one, one would run. Um, what else do we need to tell about this? Yes, it's a one-hour race. And... Every single compound possible, so the soft, medium, and hard, are mandatory. So you have to at least do two stops. The tire rate for this race is times 10. Quite hard. And quite harsh. For the soft tires, mediums are okay. And hard, you can do a full stint on a tank. A full fuel, th- a f- full, full fuel of tank. Did I say that correctly? I don't know. Okay. But fuel rate was times three. So if I'm correct, it is what I said possible to do it with two full tanks of fuel. I think that was okay. Yes. Um, what else do we need to tell about this? Yeah, we're going to run you, of course, through the order. The qualifying order we had a 30 minute practice as usual and normal and then we had a 10 minute 10 minute qualifying shootout no tire wear and no fuel rate over there so it's absolutely light and as fast as possible that's nice to do so that's that drops the the times quite significantly significantly um what else what else what else what else i don't think any any other Introduction for this race. We know what the deal is. You're ready. I'm not yet. <clears throat> but, 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 it's been categorized in Gran Turismo as a Group 2 car, but it's actually a DTM car. The Deutsche Dragon Meisterschaft! Got it? Good. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Got a bit of a hangover, so I'm not that sharp. Usually I'm not that sharp, but... I'm even less sharp than I than I usually am. So bear with me. For God's sake. For fuck's sake. Oh, and as you can see already, he has the United Colors of Benetton on it. Oh, really? Yes, really? A t-shirt brand. So yeah, I have to grab this one, put this one on. Display all. Let's get into it. Or at least the qualifying order. Here we go. We have Arno, one of the quick guys, of course, on pole position in the Audi. How he did that, no ID. Don't ask me why. But you're probably gonna do. I'm not gonna answer. <laughs> then we have Marduk in second in the Nissan GTR. Oh, let's see what, what tires they start on. That's important important as well. Uh, Otto starts on the hard tires in the Audi. And then we have Marduk in the Nismo GTR GT500 from 2016, if I'm correct. Well, it's this car. Quite a busy livery. Wow. Then we have Gerald Walters. 
the founder of Race Team Walters, Walters as it is right now. Join us. If you're Dutch, you can. If you if you can speak Dutch, you can. And then we have Kevin C in fourth. And they're both are oh Walters is on the soft tires and Kevin C is on the hard tires and Walters and Kevin C are on the uh, in the Honda NSX Group 2 car and what else did I want to see I can't remember well we have him 5th place me myself an absolutely horrendous livery it's from the Nissan R32 or R31 or even the R30 can't remember but it's the silhouette car where the livery comes from in the Nismo again on medium tyres then we have on Racing Hearts Quinn in 6th place then we have in 7th place in the Nissan uh, on hard tyres Coristus 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 how, how are we going to pronounce that? Coristus <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Coristus Coristus Coristus, yeah, Coristus. That's what's it's what's it's gonna be. I don't give a shite. <laughs> number X thirty four in eighth place. Oh, by the way, he's on hard tires, and we have number X thirty four in the Honda NSX on hard tires as well. Then we have D De Visser in ninth on racing mediums in the Honda NSX as well. Another Honda NSX by Eric VR two in tenth on hard tires. Then Peter Rose. So Peter is on hard tyres and also in the NSX. And then we have a Eupolis. <clears throat> Eupolis is on racing softs. Interesting choice. Same as Walters, the number three. In 12th in the NSX. And last but not least, there we have a VR6 Club Panel. He should be in a Volkswagen, but he is in a Honda NSX on racing hearts. T C C C T. There you have your starting grid, your starting order. That's how we qualify. And if you're ready, whoa, I nearly forgot something. <laughs> I'll have to put the game volume up. Why? Right, come on. Work with me. Will ya? Yes, yes. Let's see, let's mute this one. Good. So we don't get any echoes. Let's see if that still works. I believe it does. Let's hope it doesn't stutter that much. As far as I know, we're ready for it. Well, you guys are ready. I'm not. How are the images? Yeah. For me, good. <coughs> Oi. Of course, cables. Everything got tangled. Don't do that. Don't do that to me, please. What? Don't press any... Don't press any buttons. Buttons! So here we go. <coughs> I have to remember something. It was. I have to search for that. Give me one second before we start. I have to be certain about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recognize my face. Thank you. Beep 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 Yep. Got it. So yeah. Here we're going to go. Endurance race of this morning. 11am. 
Group 2, Grand Valley Highway. In. 3, 2, 1, go! There we go. And we're going to follow Marnik right now. We're going to skip back already to Mr. Walters. And let's see. It's a rolling start, of course, with these kind of races. And who's going to dive into the first corner as first? Yes, it's still Arno. Oh, and Jade had already thought about it. About uh, Kevin C. And Marnik is a bit slow out of the first corner. But that's because of the tire difference. Uh, Marnik is, of course, on hard tires. And Walters is on the soft tires. Oh, there's going to be a tight battle. Let's see if there's anything happening behind there. Monik takes his defensive line into the hairpin over here. Oh, and he goes a little bit deep. And there we have Kevin C. And Jada fighting as well. Oh, and we see the chains. Oh, second place between Walters and Monik. We have to see that again. But first of all, let's round out the first lap. and see if anything really bad happens. Quinn closely following. Oh, Kevin C. nearly losing it over there. He had a big wiggy wobble. <laughs> it's not complete yet. Oh, let's pause it for a second and see how and why we're so absolutely darn slow with this. Come on, your laptop, you can do this. And there we have it. A little bit further up front. And let's see. Oh, no! There is a chase for the lead. And there we can see Kevin C. and Jaden passing. Of uh, Jaden passing Kevin C. Yep, you've guessed it. Here we're going to go. It's a bit sooner than the end of the first lap, but here we're going to go. Further back, further back, further back. First of all, we're going to follow Mr. Walters. And he's right behind. This is out of the first corner. Let's do it from the first corner and let's see what happens. Of course, we got the huge tire difference, the biggest tire, tire difference you can have. Hard versus soft tires. And as you can see right here, Walters tries it on the outside, but it's quite difficult to do over there. He tries it. Oh, Monik takes the defensive line. He wants to keep that position, but goes a little bit too deep over here. And as you can see, the cutback was there. And Otto is nearly losing it on the hard tires. They're still cold, of course. We're going to watch it from Monik's perspective. And let's see what happens here. Oh, Walters tries it on the inside already over there. Wow. That's courageous. Whoa, he's pushing Otto all the way out. Let's see from the perspective of Monik. That's the tire difference. An absolute ridiculous difference. Oh, and Honor goes to white. That's why he got a half second penalty and got passed by Mr. Walters. Boy, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They all try to keep it together. And let's see from behind here what is happening between Kevin C and Jada. And Kevin C goes to white. That's what's happening. My God. And that gave Jaden place number four. So let's continue from here on. Let's see how it works out and how it will work out. Whoa! Jaden goes a little bit wide over there. Tries to cut back here on the inside. Oh, goes too deep! Oh, no! Hits the wall over there. In the barriers. Let's go further up front and let's see how everything else... Whoa, shitty camera perspective over there. Let's see if there are any other close battles. But that put Jaden all the way at the bottom. Let's get on board with Jada. What happened, dude? What happened? Again, another mistake into one of the for into in the first lap. Why? What did you do? He okay, coming in here, second gear. Whoa, nearly losing it over there. Tries it and gets the inside hit. Whoa, goes too early on the throttle and poof. Wow, that was a shitty crash. Half does have to reverse over here. Ay, 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 ay. 12th place. Nearly at the rear. Only Peter Rose is a little bit further back. So, yeah. Let's go all the way up front again. Here we go. Where we see the battles. First of all, let's see. We've got Mr. Walters in the lead. Then we have Arno in second. Then we have Marnik in second. Then we have Kevin C in number four. And then we have Queen in number five. They're not fighting for position right now. Cortius. Cor Coristius. Cor Coristus. 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 <laughs> I have to get used to that name. They're fighting over sixth place. They're all driving the hard tires as far as I believe. Yes, they do. Only D Deficer is on the mediums. But they're all in the same car. Let's go a little bit further back to see over there. There we have Eric Fiatil versus Eupolis. 
and VR6 Club and L following following them close with his windscreen wiper on. Sure, why not? Further up front again. Let's see if there are any battles over here. We still have Walters in the lead. There we have Arno. He's gonna serve his penalty and let's see if Marta can overtake him. Wow, it's still a li little bit laggy. Sorry about that, guys. Try to fix that, but my laptop cannot bear with all these. Whoa, oh, nearly losing it. Yes, they both had a wiggy wobble. <laughs> I can't do it, Randy. Sorry. It's a wiggle wiggle wibby wobble. Wiggy wiggle wiggy wobble. <laughs> Let's see that again. Coming out of this corner. Not this one. But the next one, they're gonna have a wiggy wagga wiggy wobble. Yeah! <laughs> Did it. Oopty fucking do. <laughs> Whoopa! Wiggy wagga wiggy wobble. And there is the penalty. Let's see if Marnik can profit of that. They're both on the hot tires, but they have different kind of cars. And as you can see, the car of Arno has DRS. Yes, that's a big benefit in the beginning of the straight, in the middle of the straight, just before the top speed. There we have it. Are there any battles behind? Let's see that. Whoa, let's keep it over here for now. Because we have Marnik really close behind Arno. Into the tunnel. Blasting out of it. Is it possible to make this over the stick? And I can see somebody backwards and another one backwards. We'll have to see that. But first of all, let's see this. Is Marnik possible to overtake Arno into the first corner? He tries it on the inside. He does. Oh, and they give each other enough space. It works out, it works out good. Oh, and he puts him a little bit into the ball. That's, that's going to call for run. But first of all, somebody was backwards. Let's skip to that. And then we're going to uh, see this overtake again from Marnik on Arno. Let's get on board. Chase Camp Few. Further back. Oh, it's Christus. Kuristus is backwards. Oh, he did the same as Jada into the first of into the chicane over here. Went a little bit too early on the throttle. Oh no, went to white and then spins out and whoa! he nearly caught it, but just not. Oh, this is shitty. Now you hit the wall. Yes, you have to reverse again. Let's go all the way up front to see that overtake. As, as far as I know, we're right. In the clutches, Marnik in the clutches of Arno. And Walters is absolutely gone, but he's on the soft tires, of course. Remember that, guys. And it's an, an amazing move. Arno gives the space on the inside. Marnik proves of that. And yes, he put him in the wall. Oh, you naughty. Naughty, 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 naughty. You naughty, 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 naughty. <gasps> a little bit further back. And there we go again. An instant re replay and an instant replay. Let's see, here he comes, Marnik on the inside, and as you can see right now, he has to take the longer route on the outside, and here we go. He's on the throttle already. Let's go. T-Camp view. That was a bit too few space. Poof. And let's see if Kevin C can profit of that. Let's continue! Do we have any battles behind here? I think this is the closest battle we have right now. We're going to keep following them. And the DRS doing its work for Arno. And he tries it on the inside again. Into this happen. Oh, nearly made the move stick. This is going to be the twisty part. So no, there are not going to be any overtakes. Sorry, I uh, had to tell you that I'm going to skip back. There we have Eric VR2 versus Jupilus. It's a really tight battle here for sixth place. As far as I believe, yes, we have D the Fizzer on the mediums. Leading this pack. Number X behind that on se in seventh. Then we have Eric VR2. And then we have Upolis in ninth. Then we have VR6 behind that. And Jaden already caught up with this whole group. He's on the racing mediums compared to the racing hearts. Racing softs and racing hearts. And racing hearts and racing mediums. Let's go further up front again. Because the battle for second place is still going on. No, Monica is pulling away from Arno. Into the twisty part. And then we have Kevin C right behind it and Quinn behind that. Let's see if somebody spins out or does anything crazy. I think this is the closest battle we have. And the most exciting one because it's for second place right now. Whoa! And Quinn nearly losing it out of the out of the chicane. That is a really tricky corner. So that's a difficult one. Difficult one to do it right every single lap. Holy 
Moses, it's stuttering as hell. Please work with me, laptop. You can do this. You can do this. My God. Shall we pause it for a second? Let's pause it for a second. Ora momento, por favor. Let's restart this bastard. There we go. There we have it. Is it going to show the game capture? Yes, it does. Let's see if it's a bit better right now. Nope. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's just continue. We'll have to deal with it. We have to content with it. And Otto's right back on the tail of Monik. Especially with that DRS. You can see that ray wing moving up and down. There it is. And there it's down again. And Walters is absolutely gone. But let's go a little bit further back. Because we're in the twisty part right now. And I believe Jaden already passed. VR6. Yes he did. He's in tent right now. I'm really close behind these guys. Oh there's going to be a tight battle over here. Of course Jaden started in fifth. Lost that into. Of lost that in the first lap. Out of the chicane. Coming out of the chicane. Is it possible to overtake here? Oh, he's on the inside of Eupolis. Eupolis holds the inside for the next corner. Can he do the cutback? Is that possible over here? Yes! Yes! No, not. Here he comes. Then we're going to go into this tight right-hander just before the chicane. Oh, and they touch doors over there. And Eupolis thinks better of it and slots him behind. Let's see that again. Instant replay! A little bit further back, a little bit further back, a little bit further back. Let's get aboard T Camp with Jaden. Right behind Jupiter, right behind Eric VR2. They're gonna come into this tight left hander. Oh, and he break oh, he touches the rear bumper of Eupolis already. That gives him the opportunity to go on the inside, but it's the outside for this corner. He tries to cut back over here. Does it pretty nice. He's faster on the straight because of that. That gives him the insight for this corner. Let's see from Eupolis' perspective. Oh, no, that's the wrong. Oh, let's see that touch again. Let's go a little bit further back. Let's go chase camp few. Now we can see it correctly. What happened? Did Jaden break a little bit too late? Yes, he did. And he didn't steer in. Well, that put Eupolis way too wide. Naughty, naughty, naughty Jaden. Not good. Not good enough. But he's absolutely in the slipstream right now. Onto the long straight into the tunnel. Let's continue following this. But I believe there is a battle up front as well. But that, that, they're not that close together at this moment. I believe this is the closest battle we have. Jaden, that's a slipstream as well. Are there any chases? No, Monica is still in front of Arno. And Walters is still in the lead. And there it goes, Jaden on the inside of Eric VR2. No, he can't make that. And Eupolis on the outside over there. Whoa, there's a big wobble and a big hit into the wall. Holy Moses, what happened over there? Meine Gute. Instant replay. Let's see that again. But from the perspective of Eupolis. Eupolis. Here he comes on the outside of Jaden. Holds it on the outside. and Whoa, Jaden has a massive oversteer over there. Take a look at that. Let's go chase camp few. Then we can see it. Eupolis is faster, of course, because he's in the slipstream. But Jaden is in the slipstream as well. Jaden tries it on the inside here of Eric Via too. But he can't make that. Eupolis is on the outside. And there it comes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely huge oversteer. <laughs> My God. Let's go further up front again. There we have the train between Marnik. In second place, Arno in third place, Kevin C in fourth, and Quinn all on the hard tires. And they're pulling away from the rest. Let's follow Arno with his DRS. There he goes in 3, 2, 1, flip. There you saw it. Wow, come on, laptop, you can do this. You can do it with can do. Can you? I don't know. 
there we have Ono trying to break the slipstream of Kevin C just behind and Quinn behind that uh, let's see if there are any battles behind here this is the closest so far maybe maybe not there is no battle into the chicane over here and uh, oh Quinn losing it no he spins out he does the same as Quinn of uh, as Choristus did and Jaden did I have to think for, uh, for a second over there Let's get on board with him. There we go. There's the replay. Let's see what happened to him. T Cam comes in, hold it tight on the inside. Does well over there. Good entry. Oh no, it's just a tiny tad too much. And it goes to early on the throttle over here. Hits the wall over there. Luckily, no damage. And he can continue. Well, that's half a half spin. Holy shit. Well, that's going to lose him out for the battle of the lead. Then we have Ad, uh, Data Fisher behind that in six. And then we have number X over there. And Eric Fia 2 and Jaden is still behind Eric Fia 2. But is it possible to overtake here? And let's see if there are any spins or any other crazy things into the chicane over there. Is there any chains in the top four, the top five? Well, it's the top four right now. Especially the guys in place number two, three and four. Yeah, we have Jada really close behind Eric VR2, but Eric VR2 is really close behind number X34. Is it possible to overtake here? Into this deep right. And he goes for it. He dives on the inside. Out, tries to outbreak. And he tries to park it on the apex over there, but Eric VR2 has the old switcheroo. The old switcheroo. He came back. And now Jada tries it on the inside, and Eric VR2 just lets him go. Why? I don't know. He could have fought on at least another lap. Let's go further up front again. And let's see how it does. Over the oh, no. Kevin C with a penalty. And that's going to drop him back. And probably he's going to lose the slipstream to Arno and to Monik. Monik is still in second place. Then we have Arno in third. And if we go a little bit further back, of course, we had Kevin C just with, the, uh, with a penalty. Then we had Quinn. Quinn with a half a spin. Let's go further back. There we have D. De Fisser doing an amazing job on the medium tires. Let's go further back. There we have number X closely followed right now by Jaden. And is it possible to overtake, to make another over overtake? And at least salvage something from this race. Because it was nearly last at the end of the first lap. Hmm? Here he comes. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. He can't choose. He does. He makes a decision on the inside. And is it possible into the first corner to keep that position? Oh, number X. Oh, he breaks a little bit early. Nicely done. Good. Nice fighting, guys. Let's go further up front again. Now we have Arno in third. Closely following Marnik. And Marnik has a tough time. A tough time on the hard tyres. Wow, laptop. Come on. It's not that difficult. Oh, we could see the DRS working over there for Arno. And let's go further up front. Let's see how the state of tires of Walters are. Oh, nearly touching that barrier over there. Using every little bit of track limit possible. Further up front. And they're absolutely gone. For sure. Why not? One. Drifting out of the chicane. It's so difficult to drive with these absolutely shot tires. There's only a tiny little bit left on the right rear tire. Is he going to do another lap? Nope. He's going to come in. That's our first pitter of today. Walters. And there we have Marnik in second place. Closely followed by Arno, but Arno has a penalty. Probably got it Exi exiting or entering the chicane. So easily done over there as well. Let's go further back because there is a battle over here. No, there is not. Quinn is in third right now and I believe is somebody else in. Yeah, we're missing Kevin C. Kevin C also, also pitted. Then we have D. Defisa right now in fourth. Let's go further back. Then we have Voltus already. Again, no racing softs. So there will be easy peasy for... Walters to pass D. De Fisser. 
He's back and forth already. Uh, let's see over here. Then we have Jaded in sixth. And let's go further back. There we have Number X in seventh. And then further back, there we have Eric VR2 in eighth. Closely following Number X. And there we have Kevin C in ninth right now. <clears throat> and he's on the racing mediums. Let's go further up front again. All the way up front. Because now we have the battle for first place between Marnik and Arno. But do have to tell you, as you can see, Arno has that half second penalty. That's going to lose him the slipstream. And are these guys going uh, are these guys going to pit anytime soon? I don't think so. Why would you? Okay, this is no battle anymore. Let's go further back. Now we have Walters on his soft tires blasting down the straight here, the back straight. Let's keep an eye on this. No, let's go a little bit further back because we can see Quinn Quinn is closely followed by Jadent. And I believe number X behind that as well. Oh, so difficult. That chicane. And a half second penalty for Jaden. Sure. Why not? And I can see the battle between Eric VR2 and number X. Behind here. This is not going to be any big battle into the first corner. So what, let's watch that one. Here, we, here he comes, Eric Via 2 on number X. Is it possible into the first corner? He has the momentum. <clears throat> Will he do it on the outside? Because number X defends the inside. No, number X goes way too wide over there. That's a nice overtake. And let's see if Kevin C can immediately profit of that. Here he comes. Into the hairpin. <clears throat> He's on racing mediums right now. Will he dive into the inside? He does. Number X gives the space. And Kevin C back in number eight. Nice drive, dude. But you know what that calls for? Instant replay. Let's skip back all the way to the beginning of this lap. As we could see, there we have Eric Via 2. And here we have number X. Let's go chase camp few. And you can see Eric Via 2 is right on the clutches of number X goes to the inside because number X defense number X defense on the inside he goes to the outside but outbreaks himself that gives Eric VR2 please number 7 and if we look back there we can see Kevin C on fresher tires of course and a compound softer and he's gonna dive in the inside over here oh number X nearly couldn't make that corner leaves the space and there you go back in number 8 Are there any other close battles? I believe up front. Still between Marnik and Arno. Oh, and Kevin C is way faster than Eric VR2. And has to jump out of the throttle because of that. Shall we go a little bit further up front? Let's see this overtake first into this tight left-hander. And Kevin C already back in place number 7. Let's go further up front. There we have the penalty for Jaden. He's going to lose touch with Quinn in fifth. Let's go further up front. Uh, let's go a little bit further up front as well. There we have Dita Fisser still at number four on the medium tires. Didn't pit yet. Let's go further up front because Walters is catching those two guys on the hard tires. Did, of course, his first pits up already. Went from soft to soft. So still has to use the medium and the hard tires. Uh, let's go further up front and let's see if Arno is still... Uh, Arno is still on the slipstream, I believe. Of Marnik. Now you could see that DRS again. And you're probably gonna see it exit out of the exit of this corner. Flip! There it went. You have to press a button constantly on the steering wheel if you want to activate that. So he's driving with a mapped button, constantly pressing it, releasing it, pressing it, releasing it. And as we get as we can see, Walter is way faster than anybody else. And there is a fight behind here as well. Let's see if there is gonna be an overtake from D Defizer. Oh the Queen already passed D Defizer for fourth. <laughs> you can't you can't even understand that anymore. <laughs> you donut. <clears throat> here it is, into the first corner. Yes, it was a slipstream battle. Wow, let's skip back all the way. He came out of the chicane. He's on the racing hard tires. The defense is on the racing mediums. The racing mediums, of course, 
of course more worn than the hard tires so he probably has the benefit of that tries it on the outside over here into the tunnel exit out of the tunnel he's faster yes he goes to the right that's the insight for the next corner well not the next corner the next corner is going to be a little kink to the left but then you have the hard braking zone of the first corner what i call the first corner he's already up front that's how we did it nicely done let's go further up front again because the fight is over here oh do we see any other battles behind there no we do not uh, we have Walters here on the soft tires. Oh, he has a wiggy wiggle wiggle wiggle. <laughs> a big wiggle wiggle wiggy wiggy wobble. Oh, and another big wiggy wiggle wiggy wobble. Holy Moses, but he's way faster than the guys in front, logically, because they're on the hard tires and he already tries it here on the inside. Is that possible? Into this tight right hander. Will Arno have the tires and have the grip? No, he lets him go. Smart move. Noisily done, noise, noise. Let's see further if Walters is possible to already make the overtake into this tight right hander. Is Marnie gonna defend on his hard tires? Yes, he takes a little bit of a defensive line. Is it possible to go to the out on the outside? No, it's not possible over here. Oh, and another big wiggy wiggle wiggy wobble. And Walters is way faster over there. Oh, and he's losing it. Wow. Did he slam it to the back of the uh, of Marnik? What happened over there? It's a replay. Let's get back. Let's get on board. Here we go. Marnik takes a little bit of a defensive line, as you can see. But he's on the he's on worn hard tires, of course. And as you can see, there is a bit of a wobble over there from uh, uh, from Walters. And yes, he runs into the back of him and that loses him momentum and that slows the front of the car down while he, whilst he tries to accelerate and puts him back in third. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Luckily, no damage. I believe damage is off. Why? I don't know. It should be on. That's a bit of a shame. That's cost him at least two or three seconds. Let's see the lap time because he did a 130. Whoa, it's going to cost him four seconds because I saw the last lap time. It was a 139.4. And with the battling and the mystique, <clears throat> that cost them more than four seconds. Let's see a little bit further back if there are any battles over there. Yep, let's watch that. Quinn, of course, in front of D. Deficit. D. Deficit still has a stop. And then we have Kevin C. on the racing mediums. Try to catch up with these two guys. Let's go a little bit further back. Then we have Eric Vier, two and seven. Then we have number X in number eight. I mean, place number eight. And then we have Jaden on new racing softs. He stopped already. In ninth right now, and then we have Upolis intent on new racing mediums stopped as well. Then we have VR6 just comes out of the pit on new racing mediums still with his windscreen wiper wiper on because it's so rainy out there. And then we have Peter Rose, Peter in 12th, and then we have Coristus in 13th. Let's watch this again. There we have Walters is already passed. Oh no, again. Instant replay. <clears throat> where did that happen let's get on board with Walters let's get back back and there it is coming in way faster over here they're still on the hard tires he does the cut back yes nicely done on the inside Otto has nothing to say about that pushes him a little bit wide but fair enough left the space didn't push him off the track and there we can see the difference in between the tires the hard compound versus the soft tires Walters really close on the tail of uh, Marnik again. Tries it on the inside already over here. No, it's not possible. And he breaks a bit early, pushes him out along. Tries it on the inside. Whoa, a bit of a wobble over there. And now it's probably done deal. Let's get on board with him. Yes, done deal. He can break way later. And let's get on board with Marnik. Has to ride in on the outside. And this is so difficult. Absolutely worn hard tires. Even worse than soft or medium, of course. Let's go TV again. Walters in the lead. Marnik in second. Arno still in third. Then let's go a little bit further back. There we have Quinn in fourth right now. Still on the hard tyres. Didn't pit yet. Then we have Kevin C in the medium tyres in fifth. Let's go a little bit further back again. There we have D. De Fisser still on this racing mediums where he started on. Still has to pit as well. Then we have Eric VR2. On hard tyres. Didn't pit yet. And then we have number X in eighth. And then we have Jaden on new racing softs. Putting, a, putting in fast times right now but let's go further up front because we can see D the visitor is in he 
came from place number five or number four, as far as I believe. Let's go further up front, all the way up front. There we have the battle for second place. Walters is trying to pull away. Logically, because it's on the softer tire compared to these guys. And the left front tire of Monik is absolutely gone. And by the way, Monik was in second. What happened? The instant reference! Let's get aboard. Let's get back. 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 There it was. Ah, we have a slipstream battle. So let's go a little bit further back and let's see it from the perspective of Otto in Chase Camp Few. Sure. Why not? Here he comes with his DRS open. Or his rear wing flat. And as you can see right now in 3, 2, 1, bloop. It will flap open and he dives on the inside over there. He has a bit better tires. Whoa, and he's squealing all over the place. And that's how we gain one place. So it's Otto in second right now and Marnik in third. Nice move into the first corner. Are there any other battles? No, we have Dieter Fisser in. We saw that, of course, already. Any other close battles? No. And I think these two guys have to come in. Anokin might continue another lap. But Marnik's left front tire is absolutely gone. Maybe he's going to continue a little bit further just to make sure he has to stop one stop less than other guys. I can see a battle forming behind here as well. Let's go a little bit further back because we have Kevin C on racing mediums following Quinn who didn't stop yet on the racing hearts as well. And his tyres look way better than uh, the ones of Arno and Marnik in front of here. But he made that mistake of course. Let's go further up front to see if Marnik is close enough. To Arno, no he's not, not for the overtake. So let's see this battle because Kevin C has the fresher tyres and the better tyres. To overtake Quinn for fourth place. Is he going to do it immediately into this hairpin after this straight? He's close enough to do it. It's possible. Will he dive on the inside? No, he does not. He thinks better of it. Okay. But you're going to be way faster into the chicane. Yes, he is. And the exit is going to be way better. Because you have raising mediums versus absolutely worn hard tires. Here's the slipstream battle. Let's get on board with him. There we go. And Quinn is going to be a sitting duck because he has nobody in front of him to help him. And he's going to indicate to the right. Go to the right. There he goes. Kevin C goes to the right. And Quinn just let him go. Smart decision. Smart move. Nicely done. That's the way to lose as least time to make sure your strategy works. Are there any other battles? Yes, of course. We still have the battle between Arno and Marnik. And they still continued. Wow. Somebody's in the pit. I can see. Can't see who it is. And Quinn tries to follow. Oh, oh as a big wiggy wiggy wiggy. Let's go further up front. And let's see that battle between Marnik and Arno. And Arno pulls a little bit away from Marnik. Marnik must be set. Drives with a controller. So his tires will always... Wear out faster than the other guys. Let's go one further up front. There we have Arno. And Walters pulled out a gap. Let's go all the way up front. Pulled out a gap over these guys. His soft tires, of course, wearing way faster than the guys behind. So here in second place, of course. And the uh, left front tire of Arno is absolutely gone as well. Are they going to pit? Yeah. Ooh, I could see a big wiggy wuggle wiggy wobble from... <laughs> From Mr. Walters out of the chicane. Let's see that. Let's see that again. With an instant bump. One further back. There we go. Chase camp few. Then we can see it better. <clears throat> I could see it on the mini map. Here he comes out of the chicane. Oh, a little bit too early on the throttle. Yes. Oh, and he hits the wall. Luckily, no damage. But as I said, probably the damage is off. But it, this could give him a half second penalty. Don't know if that's going to happen. Let's see. Let's stay with him. No, no penalty, luckily for him. Let's go further back. There we have Arno. Way further up front right now. The Marnik. Let's go a little bit further back again. Because there is a battle in the background. Right into the Chicane right now. Yes. Let's skip all the way over there. There we have D. De Fisser versus Eric Fia 2. And probably D. De Fisser passed Eric Fia 2. A couple of seconds ago. 
I remember that from the voice chat that Eric Villa to let him pass because he wants his strategy to work. Let's go further up front again. Or is there any battles behind here? No, let's go further up front again. And let's keep an eye on this battle because Kevin C is closing in way too fast. And as you can see, because of the absolutely worn left front and left rear tire of Marnik, it's done, it's over. You have to pit right now. You'll have, oh, and he has a big slide over there. Nearly losing it, touching the wall over there, and Kevin C is way faster. <laughs> Let's get a boat with Kevin C to see that from his perspective. Is he going to do it already over here? You can break way later. Let's guarantee. And he's going to run wide. Is that there is no opportunity over there? There is not a big enough gap to put it on the inside over there. But there is way more grip from <coughs> sorry from Kevin C over there and passes Marnik for place number three. Let's see that again. That's our play. Because there was a huge slight coming out of this corner from Marnik. Here he comes. Three, two, one. Wee-hoo! <laughs> what a slight. <clears throat> Kept it together. Nicely done. Perfect. So let's continue. And is Marnik... Yeah, Marnik needs to come in. This is hopeless right now. It's not possible to continue anymore. And as you can see, Kevin C already closing up to Otto for this battle way more grip than the absolutely worn tires oh as you can see only the left front of Ono is absolutely gone and with Marnik he has to come in is he gonna come in yes he's gonna come in and Walter is in as well so this is for the lead right now Kevin C on Ono is it possible already into the first corner no it's not but it's gonna be possible into the next corner well, not the next corner, but the next happen, and it's already happening over here. Way more grip for Kevin C. Is it possible for him to overtake him? Let's go chase Camp Few. <clears throat> Let's see it over here. And of course, under braking. No, oh, no, no, made a mistake. Going a little bit too close to the inside over there. And there it is, the overtake. Ono can't do the cutback. His tires are way too... Oh, might be a penalty over there for Kevin C. But with all four wheels over the white line. Is it a penalty or not? No, it's not, luckily. But as you can see right now, no possibility to keep keep in touch with Kevin C. Furano. And Kevin C. is gone. Let's go a little bit further back because I can see a battle over there. Quinn is in third right now. There we have Walters just in front of Jaden. And he made two pit stops already and Jaden only one. And Jaden is in the racing softs. Back in fifth right now, but still has to make one or at least two pit stops. At least one, but... I think two. Well, let's go a little bit further back because I can see a battle over there. Yes. Here between VR6 and Jupilus. <clears throat> and VR6 is on racing medium tires. And Jupilus as well. But way more worn than VR6. Is this battle done or not? Well, let's go a little bit further up front because I can see the battle over there. There we have it. Walters. A new racing softs versus Quinn. Absolutely worn hard tires. Is Kevin C going to come in? No, Kevin C is not going to come in, but Ono is in right now. Place number two, and there goes Quinn as well. Let's go further up front, and Walters is back in second place. We have Kevin C in the lead, and then we have Jaden right now in number three. There he is, into the first corner. Then we have Quinn in the pit right now, Ono in the pit right now, and Dita Fisser comes, is in fourth. There he is. And let's see, Otto came out in fifth on new racing soft tires. And there we have Marnik on racing mediums. This is the fight probably for the lead or at least second place. So this is going to be tight. This is going to be exciting. Otto has still cold tires, but racing softs compared to Otto, on the, uh, compared to Marnik on the racing mediums. And he's going to dive in the inside. Oh, is that possible over there? They had a little touch. Whoa, and Marnik nearly losing it over there. <clears throat> Coming out of the corner. But who's faster at this point? And who's faster at this moment? I think Arno warmed his tires good enough to at least pull a gap over Marnik right now. And uh, let's go a little bit further up front. No, it's not necessary. Uh, Marnik is still quicker. Arno's tires are not completely warmed up yet. And there's a fight a little bit further back here, but let's keep it over here. Because this is a really close battle. 
Monik tries it left, right, and center, and that's a half second penalty. He has to serve that next lap so we can still attack. Any other battles worth noting? Nope. Kevin C in the lead. Walters is still in second on soft tires. Kevin C, of course, on medium right now. Mediums right now. And I believe Jaden is on the hard tires. And then we have D Defizzo. Ooh, that was close to a track limit, Monik. Jaden is in. Ah, there it is. The end of his soft tire still. He's probably going to go to the hard tires or the mediums. We don't know. He started on the mediums. So it would be wise to use the hard tires right now. <clears throat> and Monik can't keep up with the racing softs of on way fourth place uh, let's see a little bit further up front there we have Dita Fissa still in third place on racing softs right now there we have Ono closely following him and Ono is way faster okay we're nearly halfway through we're gonna have a little toilet break in one and a half minutes shall we or shall we we shall okay thanks for the reminder Let's go a little bit further back, or is this the tightest battle we have right now? I believe there is a tighter battle over here. Jaden. Oh, yes, a three second penalty. You donut. For crossing the pit lane entry or exit. Let's go a little bit further up front because the battle here between. Oh, no. Oh, no. The Fizzle let them pass. What happened? Otto is back in third. In third, right? And Barnick is back in fourth. Let's see that from the perspective of Otto. Further back, further back. Here it comes. <clears throat> and D Fizzer goes a little bit deep. Will he let them pass or is there going to be any fight? And then we have Monik in the background. Fisher in third and he lets them pass. Why? That will cost you more than it will gain you. Why would you do that? Let's go further up front and let's see. Monik has to serve this penalty and is going to lose touch with Arno. And Arno is of course on the racing softs. Compared to the racing mediums of Monik. Any other battles behind here? Yes. Let's watch that. Now we have Quinn. In 6th right now. Then we have Jaden and... Fia 6. Fia 6 still with his windscreen wiper on. Because of the horrendous weather over here. On racing mediums. And then we have Jaden on the racing hard tires. With a 3 second penalty. My god dude. You should watch it better. At the end of the end of the race, remind me of that. Remind me that to see how we got that penalty. If it was the entry or the exit. But yeah, in eight right now. Let's go further up front again. We have D the Fisser in fifth, and we have Monik in fourth, and then we have Otto in second. And our race leader. No, Walters. But Walters is catching the race leader right now. And I believe it's time for that. Emergency break. Okay. That was necessary, guys. That was necessary. So. So. Half an hour and 14 seconds to go. Let's run you through the order and let's see how everybody does. And 
how the standing is. <clears throat> so we have Kevin C on racing mediums, absolutely worn mediums up front. And then we have uh, Walters in second on racing softs. Still pretty fresh. Then we have Arno on new racing softs. I believe one or even two laps all. In third, then we have Marnik on racing mediums. New ones as well. In fourth, then we have in fifth, racing softs. Halfly worn softs for D the visit. Then we have Quinn in sixth on racing mediums. And then we have VR6 on racing mediums. But I can see his fuel is nearly done. And then we have Jaden on racing hearts with an absolute full tank. Then we have Upolis in ninth on racing mediums. Quite worn and a fuel. Then we have racing mediums for number X in tenth. Yes. And then we have for Coristus racing mediums. And nearly no fuel left, so he probably has to pit right now. And then we have Eric VR2 on new racing mediums. And with, well, that's not three quarters, that's two thirds of a tank left. And then we have Peter Rose on racing mediums, but nearly no fuel left. And his racing mediums are quite new. So let's continue here. There we go. Walters in chase of Kevin C on his absolutely worn medium tyres. Who's going to be faster? Of course, it's going to be Walters because he has the fresher tyres. And oh, he has a big wiggy 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 Walters chasing Kevin C right now. And as you can see, the difference between tires absolutely mega. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And Kevin C defends pretty damn hard over there. And still cuts in front of Walters. <clears throat> whoa, and he tries it on the outside over there. Is that possible? Well, with that fresher tires, might be possible. No, he's still in front, Kevin C. And this is an absolutely titanic battle. And oh, he's nearly losing it out of the, out of the chicane. And is it possible for uh, Walters to pass Kevin C? Yes, it is. And that's because of the absolutely worn tires of Kevin C. Oh, my God. What a fight over here, guys. Is he going to pit right now, Kevin C? Yes, he is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Instant replay. Yes, 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 yes. Let's watch that again, guys. Let's skip back. Let's get a boat with Kevin C. Further back, further back. Because it started all over here. Oh, a little bit further back. A little bit further back still. As you can see right now, Walters had a huge slide over there. Comes into this corner. Holds it tight, but goes a little bit too too harsh on the throttle. Well, it's just perfect. Grabs a little bit of sand. Keeps it on the inside over here. And as you can see, especially the left handers are mega, mega difficult to... Hold, and there it comes, and Walters is faster out of the corner, and Kevin C defends, and that gives Kevin C a bump draft, because he blocked Walters, absolutely. Was that a legal move? I don't know. Oh, and here you can see the difference in grip for Walters compared to Kevin C, and it's not possible to go side by side into this, into this chicane, and Kevin C cuts in front, but as you can see, he's probably going to slide all over the place. Yes, he is coming out of the chicane and Walters is faster because of that because of the better grip of course and Kevin C is going to come in so he has to take the longer route around and cuts to the inside over here and there you go there we have number two in right now and Ono pulled out quite a big gap over Marnik and Walters is back in the lead <clears throat> let's go a little bit further back to Marnik on the racing mediums Tries to make the best of that. And then in fifth, we got D. De Fisser on racing softs right now. And if we go one further back, there we have Quinn with a half a second penalty. No, dude. In sixth. And let's see where Kevin T comes out. He comes out in fifth on racing softs right now. Is it possible? Two times racing softs to finish the race. He's half a tank of fuel. Logically. Well, let's go a little bit further back because I can see a battle forming up over there between Uplus and Number X. And that's because of the uh, number X has way better tires than Eupolis has. Let's keep an eye on this one and let's see if number X is possible to overtake Eupolis into the first corner. No, he's not. And let's see if there are any other battles a little bit further up front. 
Can't see them right now, but I can see they're closing up to each other. Let's keep a good eye on the minimap. This is going to be an overtake into the hairpin. No, oh, nobody thinks about it, but thinks better of it. Nope. So let's go a little bit further in front again. There we have Kevin C on soft tires versus D the Fisher on absolutely worn soft tires. And Kevin C is going to be way faster, and he's probably going to pass him already into this tight right hander coming up just before the chicane. No, he's not. <clears throat> Keep it over here. This is going to be probably going to be easy for Kevin C. Yes, it is. Whoa, and it's going to be tight there on the exit of the chicane. Here we come again. Beep, 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 beep. Press the red Beep, 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 beep. On board with Kevin C. Chase Camp few. Then we can see the difference between new soft tyres and absolutely worn soft tyres. So D the Fizzer holding it tight on the inside. But as you can see, he stays in a bit slower and comes out of this corner. You see the line already that Kevin C is way faster and can take a different line because of the more grip he has. And here he tries to cut back on the inside, does that perfectly. And D Deficit has a huge slide out of the corner and puts D Deficit back into a straight line. Wow, we heard this in the voice chat as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff, guys. You helped each other out. Didn't make Kevin C faster, but it helped out D. The Fisher not spinning at least. <laughs> Amazing stuff, guys. Nice and fair driving. As you can see right now, he goes a little bit too deep. And on the dude, a curb and sliding all over the place. And that's what you get with absolutely worn soft tires. Okay. Thanks for the notice again. <laughs> and we still have 27 minutes to go exactly right now. <clears throat> Are there any close fights? Yes, that is behind here. Well, let's keep an eye on this if, and see if D the Fizzer is possible to keep in touch with Kevin C. Mm, maybe through this corner, but after that, it's going to be done. Does you have a long straight over here? I can see a battle forming up on the long straight. Let's go a little bit further back and see if we can catch that one. It's yet again. Oh no, Eupolis is in! Okay. Let's go further up front again. Num that gives a uh, free track for number X right now to continue. Let's go a little bit further up front. Now we have Quindy the visitor, and here is the closest battle we have right now. Kevin C pulling out a huge gap right now over D the Fisser. And D the Fisser is already closely followed by Quinn. Let's see that. Because here we have D the Fisser on absolutely worn tires and he has nearly no fuel left, so he has to come in right now. <gasps> he has to pit this lap. And as we can see, Kevin C is closing up to Monik as well. Are there going to be any mistakes into the chicane right now? No mistake of D the Fisser driving a tight line over there. But as you can see, racing mediums, new or well, quite new racing mediums for Quinn. And Quinn got warned right now that D the Fisser will come in. So we won't try it on the inside. He will drive around the outside. There you go. And D the Fisser is in. <clears throat> there we have Jaden on racing hard still in seventh. A little bit further back there we have number X followed by Eric. VR2, let's go a little bit further up front because I can see Kevin C catching Monik right now. We have 140s for Kevin C. Let's go one further up front there. We have 141s, high 141s for Monik at this moment. Walter still on the lead, probably on absolutely worn soft tyres. Then we have Otto in second. He's on racing softs as far as I believe. Then we have Monik in between. Kevin C we're following right now on racing mediums as well. <clears throat> as well on racing mediums. And then we have Kevin C on racing softs. Let's go a little bit further back because I can see a battle forming up over there. Number X and D the Fisser. D the Fisser just came out of the pits on racing hearts. And number X is on absolutely worn medium tires. Who will be faster? I don't know. 
Let's go a little bit further up front again because Kevin C is closing up to Monik. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely nothing. Somebody's in the pits and it's Walters. Race leader is in. That's going to give the lead to Arno. And here they come. Number three and number four. Are they going to come out of... of are they going to come in front of Mr. Walters? Is he going to... He's going to go for the soft tyres again, probably. Or will he refuel? I don't know. Can't see. He's going to go for the racing mediums. He did refuel already and he came out in fifth. <clears throat> but here we see the battle for uh, place number two right now. Between Kevin C and Monik. And Kevin C is way faster on his soft tyres. Is he going to do it into this following happening? <clears throat> He breaks later, he goes on the inside, he tries it on Monik. Monik tries to defend, but gives him the space. And there you go. Kevin C. Back in second. It's everybody! Let's get aboard. Skip back, skip back. As you can see, it's going to be a text booth, uh, textbook move. Monik, of course, on way more worn medium tires. Kevin C on the soft tires can break way later. Tries it on the inside. Monik leaves the space over there. And as you can see, way more grip out of the corner as well. And that hands you second place. No shit, Sherlock. Well, Walters is on new mediums right now. We know that. And Quinn is just behind him. Let's see that. Here we have Walters on new medium tires. I have, I think, a few. And then we have Quinn on half medium of half worn medium tires in fifth. And let's go a little bit further back. There we have Jaden on racing hard still. Let's go a little bit further up front. And one further as well. And one further as well. Because Arno is an absolutely worn. Well, not absolutely worn, but quite worn. Soft tires. When does he need to pit? He has enough fuel for a couple of more laps. Now we have Peter Rose. In front of our race leader. There we see Kevin C in second right now. Catching up to Arno. Logically. He has way fresher tyres. Let's go one further back. There we have Marnik into the tunnel. Coming out of the tunnel right now. Well, hello. And there we have Mr. Walters. Racing mediums. Tries to make the best of this race. Will there be any other mistakes? Don't know. Let's go a little bit further up front because we can see. There we have it. Yes, auto pass number 13. Peter Rose. Peter, eh? And there we have Kevin C in second. Let's go a little bit further back. Monik in third. A little bit further back. There we have Walters. Oh, and he's going to catch up to Monik quite quick. Oh, and he has a big wiggy wagga wiggy bubble. One further back. Let's see how Quinn does on his racing mediums. Pretty okay. A little bit further up front again. Yeah, Walters is catching Monik quite quick. Quite quick. Absolutely ridiculously quick. And Kevin C is catching up with Arno really quick as well. Is there going to be a fight for the lead? Let's go a little bit further up front. Nope, not yet. Who will catch who first? Will it be Kevin C catching Arno first? Or will it be Walters catching Marnik first? Let's keep an eye on it. Let's go one further back. I believe Walters is already on the tail of Marnik. Yes, he is. Is it possible to do it already into the first corner? He had a way better exit. He comes up to Marnik. Let's get on board with him. He has the slipstream. Two different cars. You have the NSX versus the GTR. Monik takes the defensive line. He's going to force. No, he's not going to force it. He sold him a dummy. He's on the inside. Well, this is on the inside of Monik. And oh, they both go deep. Holy shizer. <laughs> that just went right. <laughs> Instant replay. Let's see that again. From the perspective of Mr. Waters. Beep, 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 beep. Further back, further back. There we go. 
coming out of the chicane full throttle over here let's go chase camp few and as you can see right now monik is going to take a semi-defensive line first of all a little bit to the ins of uh, yeah the inside middle of the track middle of the track and he thinks oh that's a nice move because monik thinks yeah walters is going to choose the outside right now you could see it over here monik oh walters follows him over here follows him follows him sells him sells him a dummy to fake to the inside keeps his steering wheel right turns a little bit left and monik turning a little bit too early to the left again and here we're gonna go into the first corner of course he can break way later but that was a little bit too late oh, just went okay but yeah the difference between new medium tires and absolutely worn medium tires Mm -hmm. let's go a little bit further up front because Kevin C is catching Arno and catching Arno quite quick let's go a little bit further up front to see how the tire state is it's horrendous with Arno it's horrendous and his United Colors of Benetton car. Oh, really? Oh, and there is the overtake already. Oh, no, it's not. Nearly, nearly Kevin C could, could pin it on the inside over there. Is it possible into this tight right hand there into the tunnel just before the chicane? No, it's not. Oh, no, no, keeps this line just quite okay. He's on the outside. And Kevin C's on the inside and he makes the move stick. Wow. Here we go again. And start rip. Let's get on board with Kevin C. We could see it. It already started over here. As you can see, he's at, he has so much more grip. He can nearly put it on the inside over here. But Arno has, of course, the racing line. And Kevin C is not next to him. So he has to give the space and leave the racing line to Arno. But the exit speed is way better because he has way fresher tires. And soft tires. Well, they both have soft tires. And as you can see right now, Kevin C can break just as late. Or Arno breaks just as late as Kevin C does. But goes too deep because of that. And because of the way better grip of Kevin C, he can just drive. He can just outdrive him into the corner. And there you go. Kevin C back in the lead. And I believe it's possible for him. If he saves his tires a bit or can keep it on the track. He only has to do another stint on the soft tires. And Otto comes in. Second place is in right now. That's going to give second place back to third. Yeah, second place back to Monik. Although I think he has to pit as well. Will he or will he not? No, he will not. So that gives second place back to Monik. And then we have Quinn. He's going to go in third. Let's see where Otto comes out. Otto is already done with pitting. Yes, he is. Walters is back and forth on the racing mediums. Quite new. Is faster, of course, than uh, Quinn, logically. And let's go a little bit further up front. There are no medium lefts for Monik anymore. Let's go a little bit further back. Nearly no mediums left for Quinn, but only one of his tires is absolutely gone. And let's go a little bit further back. There we have nearly new mediums for Walters. And let's go a little bit further back. There we have Arno in fifth right now on new racing mediums. And he's probably going to try to finish this race right now. And let's go a little bit further back. There we have Eric VR2 right now in sixth. And then a little bit further back. There we have D. De Fisser on Racing Hearts. And he, he tries to finish the race on these tyres. And let's go a little bit further back. There we have Racing Mediums for Jaden. And he's, he's definitely going to finish the race as I can see his fuel rate. Let's go a little bit further up front because the battle is over there. Here we have it between Monik, Quinn and Mr. Walters. Let's keep an eye on uh, Quinn first because Quinn is faster than Monik. Monik has absolutely worn tyres. Will he continue another lap? And Walters is the fastest of these three. Yes, 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 yes. Logically, because he has the fresher tyres. And no shit, the Sherlock. And here we come with Quinn. Quinn holds it all together out of the chicane. Because I believe he made two mistakes over there. Oh, and I believe somebody's backwards. Is somebody backwards into the chicane? I think it was. Let me see that again. Let's go a little bit backwards. And let's see if somebody spins out over there. On the minimap. 
We can still follow this one. No, he didn't spin out. It were two arrows crossing each other on the minimap. It looked like somebody spun out over there. But luckily, no. There we have it. Mr. Walters coming up to Quinn. Let's go chase Camp Hugh. And let's see if he can make it into the first quarter. He has the way better tyres compared to Quinn in front of him. He can break later and come on to the throttle earlier and Quinn just lets him pass. Sure, why not? Just give up the place to him. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. And here he comes. Here he comes up to Monik again. Monik in second place. Tries his best and absolutely won mediums and he has a big wiggy 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 wobble. And there he comes on the inside. Oh, and he pushes him wide. Oh, Monik can just keep it on the track. Holy can lonely. And that's half second penalty for Walters. Did he deserve that? I think so. <laughs> but you've guessed it. We've passed it already. There we go. You can see it on the screen. It's going to be an instant replay. No shit. No shit. A little bit further back. Let's see from over here. TV cam. He's going to close up quite a lot over here because he can break way later. Monik goes a little bit deep, has no grip, so that is going to be a poor exit. Yes, he goes wiggly, 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 blah, 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 wobble. And here he comes on the inside. It's a dairy move because Monik is already steering in right now. Is there going to be contact? Yes, it's going to be contact, but Walters breaks and pulls it all the way onto the sand. It's the slightest touch, slightest of the slightest touch, and Monik can keep it on the track. And because Walters skipped the track, he got a half second penalty. But he has clean air right now. So, yeah, it's a bit iffy if it was correct or not. But let's see the fight between Monik and Quinn right now, and let's see what the penalty does and if Monik is possible to catch up with Walters again. Are there any fights behind there? Behind here, we have to see that. And Monik, absolutely. There is no grip anymore. Quinn is already on the inside over here into the tight right hand of the tunnel just before the chicane. And Monik just lets it happen. No point of fighting over there. And Monik will pit because he has no fuel left as well. Let's go a little bit further up front. And I think Quinn can continue for another lap. And there was no possibility for these two guys to catch up to Walters again. Although we had a half second penalty. Because the fresher tyres are better. Oh, and Kevin C is in and Monik is in right now. So the race leader is in. That gives the lead to back to Walters. Let's follow him for a second. And he's probably going to go st uh, stop again for uh, soft tyres. Possible. Or he's going to finish this race. No, it's not possible with this amount of fuel to finish the race so let's go a little bit further back now we have Quinn in second a little bit further back Quinn of oh, Kevin C came out on soft tires as I said he's gonna finish the race on the soft tires has more than half a tank of fuel came out in third in front of Arno on racing mediums and he's gonna finish the race as well let's go a little bit further back there we have Marnik came out in fifth on soft tires and he's gonna finish this race as well and let's go a little bit further back there we have uh, Eric VR2 on racing mediums He's, he cannot finish the race, he has too few fuel left and his tyres are nearly done let's go a little bit further back, we already said that Dieter Fisser could finish his race uh, on his hard tyres with the amount of fuel and there we have on the racing mediums, Jaden, he can finish his race as well, and let's go a little bit further back, there we have number X no, he cannot finish his race yet in ninth, there we have VR6 in 10th. He can't finish the race. Well, he probably can on these tires with this amount of fuel. And then we have Eupolis. He can finish this race. And there we have Caristus <laughs> on racing softs. He can finish this race. And there we have Peter Rosa 13th. He probably can finish this race. But let's keep an eye on this battle. There we have Quinn in second. He has to pit. And he probably will pit right now. <clears throat> Let's see that. Yeah, he stays on the inside. He has to pit. Okay, there we have Kevin C. Back in second. Is it possible for him 
to overtake Mr. Walters for the lead. Yes, it is because Walters still has to pit one more time. I see a little bit further back. There we have Arno on the racing mediums. Can he keep up with Kevin C? Can he? Can he keep up with Kevin C to fight for third place? Eventually, even first place. Let's go a little bit further back because we have Marnik, who's in fourth right now. And a little bit further back, there we have Quinn. Quinn on racing softs, and he's going to finish the race on that. Let's go a little bit further up front again. Come on, laptop. Come on! You can do what we can do. A little bit further up front. Let's see the uh, the race leader. Will he come in? Because you can... Oh, he goes a little bit too deep over there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What happened over there? He has dirty tires, tires right now. What came out of the came Quite good. Let's go a little bit further back. There we have Kevin C in second. There we have Otto behind it on racing mediums. Can't do anything about that. Might have been wiser to choose the soft tires just as Kevin C did. Do have to tell you that it's going to be difficult to... to keep them alive. Let's go one further back. There we have Marnik in fourth. And it's getting dark out there. And then we have Queen in fifth. Oh, half a second penalty. How did he end up with a half a second penalty? Nice job, Ripley. Let's get a ball with him. Let's get back. Does he have a penalty? Yes. Yes. Ah, it's the chicane again. Out of the chicane? Or was it into the chicane? Out of the chicane. Okay. Let's go a couple of places further back. There we have Jaden. Jaden is closing up to D the Fisser. Are there going to be any battles or any mistakes up front? Let's keep an eye on this battle. Racing mediums versus races hard tires. Uh, uh, yeah, race hard tires. Racing hard tires. I should say. Okay. <clears throat> He's in the slipstream. It's the Honda NSX versus the Nissan GTR. Any big battles further up front? No. Can't see it. This is for place number six. Oh, way better grip and way faster. And D. Fisher just lets him go just to make sure his strategy will work out. That's a done deal. Let's go a little bit further. Oh, and another half second. Oh, no. Queen already had that half second penalty. Oh, and there was a big hit into the wall over there. We heard it. Kudzhj. Yeah, sure, dude. There we have Marnik. Still in fourth. Let's go a little bit further up front. There we have Arno. Let's go a little bit further up front. There we have Kevin C. And Kevin C is closing up to Walters extremely fast. What happened? Does he have worn tires? Well, he has to come in right now. Is it just simply because Kevin C has way better tires? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think it is. Or did he make a mistake again, Mr. Walters? Let's follow him. Oh, went a little bit too deep over there, and oh, went way too deep over there, and hit the wall. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what that goes for. There's that right line. Let's get back, back, back. Well, I think it's a little bit too far back. Because we're going to have it over here. Into this left hander. Goes a little bit too deep and probably too early on the throttle. Yes, he's losing it. Hitting the wall over there. Oh, that's going to hurt you. And especially in these following following corners. <clears throat> Tight following corners. Oh, that's going to lose you a lot of time. Compared to Kevin C. Because Kevin C is already over there. And you have to pit this lap. And it's going to drop you back, I believe, behind Otto. In between Otto and Marnik, if I'm correct. 
Let's go a little bit further back. There we have Hano on the bridge right now. There we have Marnik. <clears throat> Still not there yet. There we have Quinn. Quinn has to serve this penalty. And I believe there is a fight a little bit further up front. Yes, there is, of course. Kevin C closing up to Walters. But Walters is going to come in. Because he has no fuel left anymore for another lap. He has to stop. So that's going to give the lead back to Kevin C. Mm. He still continues. Wow. You nearly have no fuel left for another lap. And still you're going to continue. That's probably to make your strategy work. But why? 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 You're on racing mediums. You can already go to the racing softs. And you'll benefit of that. There is still some tire. Uh, <clears throat> there is still some tire left in the racing mediums. Probably that's why. Let's go a little bit further back. 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 There is a fight there between Peter Rose and Di Defisa, but that's a back marker, Peter. Let's go further up front again because the battle for first place is going on and it's kicking off. Here he comes on the inside already. Is that possible? Oh, he pushes him white. No, he doesn't push him white. Walters fights with every little bit of tire he has left and he pushes him wide over there. Is that possible? Into this next right-hander. There is more grip for Kevin C. And you know what we're going to do? Instant grip! Yes, 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 yes. Let's get a boat with Kevin C. Let's do a T-cam this time. As you can see right now, way better grip, of course. He's closing up rapidly. Takes a wider line and a tighter line into here. Oh, and the next to each other, uh, out of the exit. Kevin C had to take a shorter line over there to make sure he didn't hit the rear of Walters. And Walters cuts him off here. They didn't touch, I believe. And Kevin C keeps it on the outside over here. Can break later. Rolls it on the outside. Rolls it on the outside. Is it first right now? Is it second right now? Walters goes a little bit wide, pushes him wide. Kevin C is in the lead right now, as you can see right now. He pushes him absolutely wide. Keeps a tight line, but has to leave the space because Kevin C is in the lead right now. Is entitled to this corner. Oi, 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 oi. I want to see that again. Here we go. <clears throat> as I said, on the outside. There, Walters goes a little bit too wide because he has no tires left anymore. And he's on the racing mediums versus the racing softs. No chance. Not a chance, not a chance at all. And that probably lost you more time than it gained you. Hmm, was that a smart decision? I don't know. But you have to pit this lap because there is no fuel left anymore. And it goes way too deep again into that tight right-hander. The long... The long right-hander. No grip. Out of the chicane. And take a look at the difference and what kind of gap you can pull with fresher tyres. Holy mercies. Yep, there he comes in. Place number two is in, and that's going to give second place back to Arno. Arno, of course, still in the Audi. Doing an amazing job, but he's on the racing mediums versus the racing soft of Kevin C, the race leader. And let's see where Walters is going to come out. Marnik is in third. On half worn soft tires with eight, yeah, around eight minutes to go. And Quinn came back, or Walters came out in fifth, just behind Quinn. And let's see how fast Mr. Walters is capable of catching Quinn and might even catch Barnick. Let's keep an eye out on this battle. <clears throat> I can see another battle forming up a little bit further behind into the chicane over there. Or is that back markers again? Don't know. We have a best first sector for Quinn. Doing his best on racing softs. He can finish this race. And my laptop doesn't want to work with me today. I hope it's okay enough for you to see. Let's go a little bit further up front. No, not, not necessary. Well, one further to see. Yeah, the racing softs of Marnik are way, way much worn than Quinn's are. 
So Quinn should be faster and is faster. <coughs> no, is not faster than Monik. Monik is faster, still faster. And we have Quinn coming out of the chicane. And there we have Walters. Whoa! A big wiggy wagga wiggy bubble. <laughs> Let's get on board with him. Let's see how it looked from his perspective. There we can see Quinn in the distance. And Kevin C just absolutely disappeared into the distance. Not even Ono, not even Ono can beat him. And Kevin C is doing an amazing job these last couple of weeks. Making no mistakes, no penalties. Pulling out the best strategies. And Walters tries to catch Quinn, but Quinn is on the soft tires as well. Let's follow Quinn. And let's see if he can catch up with Monik. I believe he can. He has the better tyres. And did Monik made a mistake? Let's go a little bit further up front with him. Wow, look at those flames coming out of the side of that Nissan GTR. And here we have the <coughs> flames coming out of the back of the NSX. He's way faster right now. A little bit further up front. Yeah. The soft tyres of Monik are absolutely gone absolutely gone and that's the trouble with the controller oh it's a tight exit over there and it's difficult with one tire so oh no i believe that there was a mistake for mr walters no you had the best tires of all of them oh he's on racing hearts he still had to use the hard tires oh that's why he wasn't that much quicker but as you saw there was a mistake We'll have to see that with an inside everybody! Let's get a boat with him. Let's get back. 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 Back and back. Back, back, back. Back and back. Was it here already? I think he has a hard time on the hard tires. Let's see. Of course, it's difficult. There is way less grip. New hard tires feel just the same about as nearly completely worn soft tires yeah it goes way too deep over here oh that slows him down a lot is he gonna spin out over here yes oh he makes a kevin he makes a jada mistake but a little less worse he did exactly the same as jada did on the first lap and i believe quinn did as well by going a little tiny tad too early on the throttle into this dip and then you're going to lose it over this little crest. Whilst you want to go right, you're going to go left. And yes, that runs you onto the sand over there. And yes, that's going to be fifth place for him. That's it. Done. Done deal. Let's go further up front because we have Quinn versus Marnik for third place. The last spot on the podium because Kevin C and Ono are absolutely gone. We still have f uh, four minutes left in his race. And there is no possibility anymore to catch Arno or Kevin C for place number one or place number two, except if they're going to make huge mistakes. So let's keep an eye out on this battle. Let's go a little bit further back. I believe somebody still pit, pit it. Let's go one little bit further back. No, we're going to keep an eye out on this battle. Because Quinn is way faster. He's on the racing softs, of course. And yes, there he comes on the inside of Monik. And he puts his Monik a little bit wide. Holy scheiße. Meine Gute. That just went right. Here we're going to go again. Well, my instant replay nearly looks the same <laughs> as the livery of Monik does. <laughs> take a look at that oh, take a look at this lovely lovely nice detail Vazava. <laughs> let's see that battle from the perspective of Quinn in chase camp few there we go way more grip out of the corner you can see Monik struggling over there to get 
to keep the car under control. He has to brake early. He has to steer in early. He has to take less speed. There he nearly loses momentum. He takes the corner a little bit too wide. Mar uh, Quinn tries it here on the inside. And do they touch into this corner? Marnik... No, just Marnik goes in too quick, too fast. Has not... Uh, does not have the right line into this left hand but parks it beautifully on the apex and Quinn cannot prof profit of the the old switcheroo but let's continue this battle because the state of tires are absolutely different and Quinn takes the wider line to get the old switcheroo done over here no he can go earlier on the throttle throttle is it possible into this tight right hairpin into the bridge just before the chicane the tricky chicane can he go on the outside no Marnik puts his car in the perfect place for Quinn not to pass oh and Mar Quinn makes a mistake hits the wall over there but is still in contention for place number three. Oh, and it's difficult coming out of that corner let's get a boat with him it's going to be a slipstream battle but first of all I want to see that again quick is the reply beep beep let's watch that from Chase Camp Few as you can see because he has way better grip he can break later of course tries to cut back over here but goes a little bit too early on the throttle i believe yes hits the wall over there Whoa! that loses some a uh, bit of a momentum a bit of a wiggly 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 little, 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 little wobble out of the last chicane onto the straight and that chicane is so important oh yeah we went to we wanted to go on board with him t cam few there we have it is this going to happen into the first corner? He is quicker because of the slipstream, of course. He has the better tyres. He can brake later. Marnik puts it halfway. Oh, he puts it on the racing line. Does he try the inside? Yes, he does the cut back. And he's done it. He's in third. Marnik couldn't defend and went a little bit too deep over there. Had to yield for that place. And that calls for another instant replay. Let's get on board. Now Chase Camp Few into the first quarter. Now nah, that's a little bit too close. Here we can see it again. Slipstream battle. He's closer, getting closer, getting closer, getting closer. Of course, Quinn can break later because the tires of Monica are absolutely gone and Monica breaks just a tiny tad too deep. Quinn does as well, but can do the cut back because of fresher tires. And that's it. Textbook stuff. Wow, 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 wow. So he's a fourth right now. Let's go a little bit further back or a little bit further up front. No, Kevin Ciano. Is there still any battle going on over here? Amonic tries it on the inside over there. Wow, with absolutely worn tires. And slides all over the place. Did Quinn made a mistake? And Monic tries it left, right, and center. Holy shit, let's get back. Because it started over here. Monic tried a dairy move. Has a huge wiggly, wiggly, wiggly wobble over there this is an amazing battle guys holy shit and that would absolutely warn tires Marnik how do you do that oh and it goes too deep and hits the wall over there ay 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 and that's the end of the battle but I want to see that again let's start it all the way with the insert replay from the first corner oh that's one too far back First of all, from the perspective of Quinn, where he makes the where he makes the textbook overtake. We've seen this. Marduk went a little bit too wide. Quinn has the better tires. Could do it. And you think, yeah, this is done and dusted, a done deal. Marduk cannot fight back, but Marduk is of course still in the slipstream right now. Follows Quinn. And I think Quinn has a little bit of a nerve. Nervous breakdown, breaks a little bit too early. Yes, he does. Monik tries it on the inside. Has a huge slide. So does Quinn. Whoa, they both have it. And Quinn slows down a bit more because of that than Monik does. And Monik tries the undercut here or the switcheroo. And it's not possible. And then goes a little bit too deep into this corner. And hits the inside. Boof. Over there. And now it's a done deal. And I believe this is the last lap. No, we have still one more lap after this one. Oh, that's going to be difficult for Marnik because he has no tyres left. Only his right rear has a tiny, tinny, tiny, tiddle, little, 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 left. 
And as you can see, Walter's on the racing hearts right now. In no man's land. Well, let's go all the way up front. Because Kevin C is going to start his last lap. If we check the time, one and a half minutes to go. And the laps are 140. So this is going to be the last lap. Yes, it is. So he's in the final lap. Then we have Arno, his second. Absolutely worn racing race mediums. But he can finish on that. Let's go one further back there. We have Quinn on worn softs, but better softs than the guy behind him, Marnik, in fourth. Because he has no tyres left anymore. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> 144. Wow, absolutely horrendous. Let's go one further back. There we have Walters at 143 on the hard tyres. So yes, as you can see, you don't lose that much on absolutely worn tyres. Let's go one further back. There we have on quite hard Worn medium tires, Jaden. Let's go one further back there. We have Eric VR2 on quite new racing softs, and he's catching Jaden quite quick. Let's go one further back there. We have D. De Fisser on racing hearts. He got passed by Eric VR2. Let's go one further back there. We have number X. I had to remind myself of something to look back at. Back at. Can't remember what it was. And he's on absolutely worn soft tyres on ninth, and there we have Coristus in tenth on absolutely worn soft tyres as well. And then one further back there we have quite new ra uh, racing soft um, VR six is his car. And then in twelfth we have Upolis still on the hard tyres, and in thirteenth we have Peter Rose on new soft tyres. So let's skip all the way back to number one. Here he comes yet again. <coughs> Round of applause for Kevin C. He's done it again. Another endurance race win. Nicely done. Perfect strategy. And there we have Arno coming home in second. With an absolute different choice. Or a different choice in car. <clears throat> Nicely done, dude. There comes home Quinn in third. Nice finish, man. Podium. There we have it. Then we have Marnik in fourth. Spins his car out, and there we have Walters coming home in number five. Please, number five. And there we have Jaden quite far back. And as you can see, lost a lot of time because of absolutely more medium tires. He cannot drive with that. Lost a lot of time, as you can see, in the last couple of laps. And probably his last lap is going to be the absolutely shittiest one he's ever done here. Yeah. And then we have Eric VR2 coming home in seventh. Quite big gaps. And then we have D the Fisser coming home in 8th. Solid drive as well. And then we have number X coming home in ninth. Take a look at those gaps, dude. Oh my god. Yes, there we have number X. And then we have Coristus in 10th. And then we have VR6 coming home in 11th. And I believe that was it. Because Eupolis and Peter Rose were lapped. So, congratulations to Kevin C again. Nice job, solid job. Beautiful drive. Wah. Conclusion. There we go. An absolute solid drive of Kevin C again. Did, it ama did an amazing job. And Arno as well. We described it, of course. Quinn still coming home in third. <clears throat> Although we made a couple of mistakes and had a couple of penalties. I believe Arno had some penalties. Kevin C. I couldn't see none. And then we have Marnik. Yeah, he drives with a controller, so he is he is uh in the deficit, I should say, or uh, the, he has a deficit of driving with the controller because you cannot control the tire wear that good because of that. Walters, of course, made a couple of big mistakes. Maybe his strategy wasn't that perfect, but the mistakes do not help. And then we have Jaden, of course, crashing out into the first corner. Had a three-second penalty and two times half a second penalty. <laughs> so yeah, that's four minute, four seconds or more than four seconds down the drain. Then we have Eric Via 2 a solid race for him. He's normally in group, group B as far as I believe. Is he or is he not? Can't remember, but had a solid drive. Ended up in front of D. De Fisser, as I thought might. 
end up in fifth or fourth. No, not fifth or fourth, or at least sixth. Um, yeah, his last step was not that fast. Then we have number X. And um, we're going to round out everybody else. We had Caristas in 10th. Then we had... Um, who we had in 11th? I don't know. Eupolis in 12th. And Peter Roos in 13th, 12th. Well, I don't know. Can't remember anymore. So yeah, guys. That was it. Another endurance race. Tune in tonight. We're going to do another one at 8 a.m. Of 8 p.m. Sorry about that. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Have a good one.